don't love it. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I'm like I'm playing with this as I go. Okay. It's looking good <laughs> like, so far. Yeah, I'm like playing with it, see, kind of figuring out step by step. I suck so bad at eyelash Eyelashes? application. Oh my um, god. Okay, but so, I love it. Yeah, so this is a, a part of like a, a little good trip. Um, first of all, I don't use the um, hair glue, whatever, like, you know, for weaving weave mongo is probably the best thing you can use too, same thing. But give the glue like a, um, a chance to dry a little bit, like so it gets tacky. Mm -hmm. And look forward, look into your eye, like when you're like, if you're doing it in front of a mirror, like look at your eyeball, that way your, uh, your lid stays center. Um, and you're able to sit it on top of the lash. I think that's... Okay, I could try that. See if that works for you. See, my issue is that my, my eyelashes are so curly. They, they curl up? Yeah, they actually, get in the way. They, they get in the way. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. They actually have, um, it's, a, um, it's an eyelash um, shampoo. <laughs> so they, yeah. To straighten them out yeah, a little to, bit? Yeah, exactly. To kind of straighten them out a little bit. And then you can use a, curler, a reverse curler to kind of open them up. Mm -hmm. um, then my trick for that is just, I like to use the back of a brush and just kind of open them up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so that they can lay down. Okay. And, I, and as long as I get it like as close to the lash lines as possible, I can pretty much move it to where I need to. I can see where you would have trouble. Yeah. It's easier for someone else to do them. Mm -hmm. You love lashes and you like you like the drama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you look like you do. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I do? I, I put like the um I use the eyelash glue. That's like a brush, so then I would just paint the brush on my lash like a like eyeliner. Mm -hmm. And then I put the the lashes on afterwards. After that, so that got you. That does. That's a that's pretty good trip, yeah. Not bad. So you use your eyeliner first as your guide. Right, exactly. And then lay. Well, the, 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 I've heard that could be. On top of that. Oh, you have to go over the fence. Mm -hmm. It's like a little fence of lashes. I gotta go over mm -hmm. the fence. Mm -hmm. I have to know that I don't mean no harm. I think a little good tip too when you pin mascara is like if you lay your, your finger right over the lashes, you're giving it some of the, you're giving the lash somewhere to rest at, and now you can like, get as much product on the lashes as possible. I have to try that. And plus, like, oftentimes I get like mascara all on my eyelid. Yeah, that, that, exactly. It's like your own little shield. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, let's let me play with some liner. What's your sign? Pisces. Do you feel like you relate to your sign? Absolutely. Why is that? I'm a creative. Oh, that's is that, that's um, the focus for. Yeah. Like, what, how how would you how would you describe Pisces? Well, what's the what's the characteristics? Pisces are creative. They're emotional. They're empathic. Mm. They're sensitive and caring individuals. Um, mm. Also, mm, moody, which I don't really like that part. Mm. But so you so you are so you are moody. Yeah, <laughs> I am. Okay. Um. Yeah, like anything that you look up about Pisces, like that's really me. I like, get it, it's me. Okay. I do so. have like a lot of other signs in me. Like I'm raised by a Leo mm -hmm. fire sign. So my cool. king, he's a he's a Aries fire. So like, I do have those in me too. Your king, what do you mean? My man. Oh, love it. Yes. Oh, I love that. You got a king and knight of that. <laughs> we live in this. Uh, I think like the relationships have taken form or like uh, or have taken the same shape as our fast food restaurants. Like you know, kind of, like everything is order and order out. Like you kind of go in there, you're expecting to you know everything kind of be perfect and mm. in and out. And that's not how love works. That's mm. not how life works. So you have people who like literally from one day to the next, you know, in and out of relationships. Mm. I think oftentimes they don't work. They haven't taken time to figure out who they are. Who are you in a relationship? Who are you by yourself? Right. So you feel like, you know, you feel as though you, well, you, you have a good handle on yourself, you know who you are. And yeah, and I'm working on that too. Yeah, I mean, it's a constant process. Not like it's you know, when I'm there, or on a, or instead like, like I have arrived, right. it gets. I think you, you find some of the wise people that they, they say they're continuously growing all the way to the mm -hmm. end. That doesn't mean we still can't have like a you know, I don't know, know where we're going, know what we want, exactly, know where we're heading. Look up for me. So I want to hopefully uh, it's been about a, about a good year, a uh, year and a half now out of relationship. I think I need to take the time to figure out who I was again. And... Mm. 
think I'm going to Atlanta like open hearted and ready to meet, you know, mm -hmm. meet somebody and. But you're not looking though, are you? No, I don't. I think if anyone's like actively looking, I think you're probably gonna miss out. Yeah. What do you think about these dating sites? Oh, I'm definitely on a couple of them. So mm -hmm. here's my. Well, which one in particular? Like, I mean, like on like POF, like and stuff. Like, I don't have. I think our, our version on our like on our like gay sites and stuff is more hookup. So like, right. you know, it doesn't have the opportunity. Like, I really don't know too much for me what, how it is on the straight sites, but I feel like it still has the kind of the same mentality where against the fast food right. sex, you kind of mm -hmm. go in there, you're able to put your preference in, what you like, what you don't like. I mm -hmm. um, I don't. It's useful <laughs> for what I need it. <laughs> it's definitely useful. <laughs> you, you need to find school. I do hear more and more people have been like getting the like serious relationships from online. From, from apps. Like I mean, apps I feel like again, it, it depends on which one you want. I feel like uh, what's this one called again? Um, okay, Cupid. Okay, I feel okay, like that, well, well, the fact that you have to like answer these forty million questions before like you, your profile even starts. Mm -hmm. There's basing it off, you know, basing it off of what you know what you're looking for. As, like, as far as like quality wise, mm -hmm. it's the kind of quality that I'm looking for. You know, who I want. And moving in with somebody is, is nobody. It's not easy. <laughs> yeah. It is not easy. It, it, you getting to know so living with somebody that's knowing someone on another level. It's um, well, I, my experience was like I I went from being 21 and I lived with my mom. I was just coming out of college and like, coming back to my living with my mom and stuff. And not looking as the mailman. Boom. <laughs> this guy's my first relationship, and we kind of we kind of rushed a little bit. Like within a couple of months, we were. We had our own apartment, and wow. I mean, we lasted five years, but mm -hmm. still, I was like, who's to say, you know, had it gone, maybe had it gone a different route, or how we waited, what would it, what, what may have happened. Right. I think, I, I think for the next time, I, I, I don't know, my, the notch to myself is, you know, wait a little bit. Okay. See if you guys, see, are you, see if you guys are compatible past, <laughs> past the week. <laughs> right. I, I hear it's, a, it's like a part of the, like the, it's like a, um, how can I put this? It's like um, it's really common in the gay community that like to move oh, to, uh, move it quickly. Really, really yeah, fast. it really is. You know, it, it definitely is. Mm -hmm. It's not I'm not gonna deny that. Mm -hmm. But I think it's because I think part of that comes from I don't know finally meeting somebody that kind of gets you, understands you, and just okay. being so excited right. and be about being involved in something. I don't know that you just kind of want to get to it. Right. Um, not saying that's right. <laughs> yeah. But I think that's. I think that's where it comes from. What is, is that? That makes it where it stops from. Mm -hmm. How many kids do you want? Do you want to have kids? I want three kids. No. You said no. No. <laughs> Why say really? no? No, I mean, no, no, no. There's nothing wrong with that. Like for real, for real. Wow, three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I just feel like we're not in the we're not in the time, the day and age of two and three kids. But okay. Uh -oh. Um, to make sure I have a boy and a girl, so I think um, having three kids is like yeah, the, the opportune time. So, yeah. I mean, or you can give your your best chances, like two right. or three. Exactly. If you telling me I can have mm -hmm. one boy, one girl out of three chances, it's come on. Right. That might be where you have to adopt your next one. Cause what if you came up with three boys? <laughs> I would be so sick. I would be so sick. You mean adopting? What you feel about? It? What do you feel about Man, adopting? I'm, I mean, I feel like people who adopt are like we need those people in this world. Like you just ain't one of them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because I know I want I want a little mini Keisha like gotcha. I want my daughter to look just like me and all that and I want to play with her hair and all that. But and get, I don't know. It's it's about that experience and yeah. I get it. But Four I think me? if no, no, yeah, for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can tell me. I think that if um if I didn't get a girl um naturally, then I, I probably would adopt if I could afford it. If we could afford it, yeah. it's gonna, that's what it's gonna come down to. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I feel like you'd be a good mama. I think so too. <laughs> Thank I don't you. Know, fly mama. <laughs> Mommy, how you doing this? <laughs> I think that I think it's just being able to teach or want to teach or pass down all the um, all the secrets and all the all the trick. Like, girl, let me tell you what I learned. Okay, right. have that seat real quick, mm -hmm. and let me tell you, let, let, let mama put you on. <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah, but we you know we know random teenage years, something happens and it's like Argh. something give me. Like, what is this monster I, I, mm -hmm. birth. That I, that, that I give birth to? <laughs> the spawn of Satan that I love so much. <laughs> you kids? I do, huh? You yes, I do want kids. Oh my gosh, I feel like I make a, a tough ass cool parent. Yeah. 
Like, I'd definitely be happy, eh? Yeah. Let me see what this looks like real quick. Never see something like me be with